Thank you. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Amazon exclusive, the Defenders box set. I did pick this up on Amazon.com, it's an exclusive, and I gotta say the packaging for this looks great. I love how all the characters over here are embossed on the packaging, we have this nice comic cover going on. For the theme, it says Murdoch, Jones, Cage, and Rand, I really like that a lot. And then on the side you get all their logos, we got the two J's for Yeska Jones, and then on the very back you can see all four characters right there, and it has their names up top. And then on the side you get the four logos again, and then we get the defenders and boss on the top right over here, which is kind of tricky to see. And then not much at the very bottom, and then this is held together right here with some Velcro, and then on the inside you can see the four figures. And then right over here we get little read-ups on each character in multiple languages. So here's the one for Daredevil, and then here's the one for Jessica Jones, and here's the one for Luke Cage, and here's the one for Iron Fist. So let's get to it and crack these things open. And here are the defenders out of the packaging. And my first thoughts over here is that this is a pretty cool set. I do like these figures. I mean, we've seen them all before in one shape or form or another. There's not a whole ton of new over here. There's actually nothing newly sculpted with anything from this box set. But I do like having these characters right here with the way they look. We get some nice repaints over here and some added bits and stuff like that. I mean, especially having that Luke Cage come out again. I mean, yeah, a lot of people have been waiting for that. Anyway, let's get a closer look. I'm going to go ahead and start with Iron Fist. Flame Hill Mahatman. Yeah, so he comes with these two flame effects that we've seen several times before in the past. Little, little black speck right over there. Yeah, I got that off, but I do like how we have the red paint on it. And it fades into the translucent orange color, which I love. This looks great, and I like this other one too. So they fit onto his fist perfectly fine. You know, you just attach like so, which is pretty neat. If you wanted to remove this hand over here at the forearm and replace it, with one of the Iron Fist hands that we'd seen with the previous version of this figure. You can do that. It's a little stiff and there it goes. And that looks pretty good as well. But it doesn't come with this piece. So it's just an idea in case you want to make that modification. So we've seen this head sculpt before along with the body mold. They're reusing the Pizza Spidey body mold. Uh, once again, like how they did with this Iron Fist right over here. And you can see the flesh tone is a little lighter on this guy. But yeah, same deal. Uh, we still have the brown hair in the back even though he's supposed to be blonde. But I like the wrinkles and the sculpt on this. And the flesh tone does look pretty nice. It looks pretty solid. Uh, you know, they don't have any sculpted, say it with me, Juan. So, uh, I'm scared to say that because last time I got flagged, uh, the last time I said that word. And it isn't crazy how YouTube can be. But anyway, looking at the wraps right over here on the fists, uh, a little extra paint right there. I love how that looks. Beautiful looking wash for that beige color and brown. I dig that. It's on both sides right over here. I did get a little bit of warpage, so I do need to heat up the arms. You can see, you know, it's a little bit warped right over there, so if I heat that up and straighten that out, it'll be a bit better. And same thing, this one needs to move down a little bit. I think the deco right here for the tattoo looks fantastic. I think that's awesome. Nice, clean black paint. And then there's the back. He still has a peg hole right over there, so if you want him on a stand, that'll work out pretty well. And then there's Iron Fist, but nice, bright, vibrant green on this. You know, no paint shading or anything like that. Of course, you can move the belt around as you wish. Then we have some solid yellow right over here for the feet and for the calves. So, yeah, not too bad looking. All right, made it. Yeah, so here's the batons for Daredevil all stuck together. Again, a bit warped, made out of a very soft material like we'd seen before. But I love the added silver right over here, and I love that they went with red with the red Daredevil. Uh, the other Daredevil figure had white batons, so I'm glad that to have these instead. A uh, little bit of silver paint missing over there, and I have a splotch right over there. So, yeah, that's a little unfortunate. Eh, not the cleanest. And you could detach them, of course. You saw them separated a minute ago. And they fit into his hands fairly well, and you could go ahead and port these right here into the sheath that he has on his hip. So, that's pretty awesome. I do like these. Then here's looking at the Daredevil figure. Uh, the same as the previous Daredevil figure that we'd gotten, just with inverted colors. So, where we get the dark red, we get the light red on this one. And where we get light red on this one, we get dark red. So, you could see that, like, for instance, on the arms right over there. So, yeah. Uh, and I think this looks pretty good. I really like this matted red color. It looks great. I love how it absorbs light. The torso is a little bit more shiny than I'd like it to be. A little bit more reflective. Uh, you know, for instance, on the arm right over here, you can see it's a bit more matted and then it reflects light a lot more on the torso. So it's, I guess, a different kind of plastic because you could hear that. 
much harder plastic right there for the torso, so that's why we see that. But I do like the deco here more on this one. We get that trim right there with the black. This one is just the DD right there, and then we have the horns painted where this one doesn't have the painted horns, so I like this. Yeah, it's a pretty good looking Daredevil. I mean, Daredevil is one of my favorite heroes, so I'm just stoked to have another Daredevil figure. I really can't get enough Daredevil figures. I think I have all of them. I think the Spider-Man Classics is the only one. I'm not asking for it. Please, you know, you don't feel obligated to send it my way or anything, but that is a figure that I don't have that I think is cool. But anyway, uh, looking on the straps right over here for the baton holster, I think that looks great. I love that attention to detail. Again, I like the red batons. Here's the back of them. Still has a peg hole right over there. Then looking at the legs, there's no added detail. We just get more of this darker red color right there for the boots. So that is awesome. And then here's looking at Luke Cage. And the last time we'd gotten a Luke Cage for Marvel Legends was the 2013 STCC exclusive. So there's a lot of people that are very stoked about this one. And even though I have this guy already, you know, the STCC version anyway, I'm still stoked about having this one because I think it's a better version of the figure. Now the head sculpt is exactly the same. I do think they painted the eyes much better on this one. But that head sculpt, I don't know, it, it kind of reminded me of, of an Arabic person more than an African-American person. I, I don't know. Well, let me know what you think. I don't like the knot on the side of his head right over there. A little bit of you know, plastic warpage right over there, the marbling, so I'm not a big fan of that. And yeah, it looks like he's been dropped really hard, but he wasn't. Uh, I've been careful with my figures. So yeah, QC issues are my biggest gripe with this set, and I'll get into more of that later on. I do like how they added the V-neck right over here as opposed to this one right here. And it's more or less the same exact color yellow, a little splotchy right here on the older one. Then they have the different gauntlets right over here uh, compared to this one, which I don't really like so much. Uh, I prefer to not have them with these. And I did take these off, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. We get a new belt for this guy right over here, which is pretty sweet. And then we have these, and I mean, I like the blue pants and stuff, that's great, but I don't like these metallic pieces right over here. I wish we didn't have those. I do like these new shoes. I have not seen these new shoes on another figure, unless I'm mistaken, but I think these are brand new shoes over here. So please let me know if you know if they're from another figure, but I'm fairly certain these are brand new. They almost look like Adidas. But we get nice treads at the bottom of the feet over there. So yeah, if, if I zoom out, you know, it, you could see like the only reason why we really have these gauntlets over here is to match this, just because it, it would look so weird without or it does look kind of weird without them and you can just easily pop off the hands and take these off and I think the figure just looks a whole lot better without them that's the Luke Cage figure that I want you know especially if you don't see those silver bits if you just look at them like this I mean come on man isn't that awesome that, that's the Luke Cage figure we want right so if they just replaced these calf pieces over here with some actual pants that would have been great because he has the natural looking shoes or the street shoes you know what I mean so these are supposed to be street clothes and then you get these these weird superhero calf thingies right here which I just don't think makes sense I'm not a big fan of those so yeah that's my most frustrating part with this figure is, is that bit but you know other than that I think it looks pretty awesome especially without having the gauntlets on there and lastly we have Jewel the figure I was looking forward to the most from this box set and she came all scuffed up over here as you may or may not have seen my peel box video where I unboxed this set I was pretty upset about that ah Damn, I'm pissed, man! But I've gotten over it. I did contact Hasbro, and uh, they said that they're going to try to do something about it, so stay tuned. But I still wanted to get this review out, so I don't know if I'm going to still be able to get a swap even though I've opened it. If that's the case, well, hey, you know what I mean? Then, then so what? It, worse things could happen, you know what I mean? I'll get over it. But, uh, yeah, it, it does bother me. You can see that there's, like, this scuff coming down her face right there. And then it goes from the eyebrow and then onto the cheek right there. So that bothers me. But other than that, I really do like this figure a lot. I love the choice of reusing the silk head sculpt for Jewel. I don't think that she looked Korean at all as a silk Kelly Moon character. And I have added this version onto the Netflix Jessica Jones figure. And I think that looks great. So I really like that they've done this. You know, I, I'm, I'm really stoked about having a version right over here because I do think that this really looks like a good looking Jewel face sculpt. So I really do like it. I like the paint on the mouth over there. I think that's great how they have the lighter pink color right there and it has more of a magenta color on the outside. We get pink and magenta mixed in together over here for the rest of her hair, which I thought was wonderfully sculpted the first time I got it, but yeah. With these colors over here, I think it looks great. I also love the flesh tone. Flesh tone looks very matted. I like how it absorbs light, 
so I just really dig that a lot. We get some very nice metallic blue right over here for the trim of her suit, as well as for the gloves. Metallic purple or magenta right there for that jewel logo, so I think that's awesome. And then of course we're seeing the Kate Bishop Hawkeye figure reused for the body mold. You know, we've seen that a lot lately, which I like. It's pretty good. Not my absolute favorite for the Moonstone body mold, but for this character I think it's suiting. So yeah, not a whole lot else to talk about this figure. I do like it. So yeah, we got the pig holes still underneath the feet. We get the jewel now guys right over there. Don't get mad at me, Luke. Uh, I'm sorry for looking, bro. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip the articulation segment with these figures because I've reviewed all of them at one point or another, but I will discuss a couple of things over here. For instance, the hips on the Iron Fist figure are very wobbly. I mean, you can see them moving a lot more so than the previous version, so that's a little irritating. Uh, the new shoes over here, uh, we still get great ankle pivot, and uh, the ankles actually don't allow his feet to really move up that much, but they do move down, so I just wanted to touch on that little bit. That's like really the only new thing to discuss as far as articulation goes, but as far as measuring them out, uh, you can see that Luke Cage is definitely the tallest, just a little over seven, or right at seven inches. You can see Jules just a little over six inches, and at about six and a half inches, we have the Daredevil and Iron Fist figures. And then getting a comparison from farther away of each of these figures compared to their previous versions, you can see the two Danny Rands, we get the two Matt Murdocks, the two Luke Cages, and then we have the two Jessica Joneses over there. And one thing I'm curious to see is if I could take this Netflix series Jessica Jones head sculpt and pop it off and put it on this jewel body mold right over here and that looks okay yeah so if you wanted your uh, Kristen Ritter head sculpt you know if you wanted a Netflix version I guess you'd have to paint her hair or something like that but that actually works out but unfortunately the flesh tones do not match so you'd have to change that flesh tone a little bit as well I also wanted to see how the jewel head sculpt looked on the Jessica Jones Netflix figure that looks pretty cool she looks very punk rock to me I like that a lot I didn't change anything on the Luke Cage but here's Daredevil next to the new bullseye figure and I think those two look pretty good side by side. Then here's a Toy Biz variant Iron Fist next to the new Iron Fist figure. Thank you so much, Nick Jordan. And I'll have an exclusive Patreon dedication video to Nick Jordan at the Patreon account. Then here's our four Defenders figures next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And here's all four figures in fairly dynamic poses. I like putting them on the Mafex stands. I think they look pretty cool like that. I wish we had two articulation on that Luke Cage figure. I just think it'd be a little bit more of a natural pose. But I gotta say, I do like this box set. I have my complaints with the QC issues, especially the jewel over here. That really upset me. It's killed my mood right over there. But I'm gonna see if I can get a replacement for that. If I don't, uh, I still like the figure a lot. And I do like this box set. I do think that they did make improvements. Uh, at the bottom of my list is the Iron Fist right over there. But I do really like the Jewel and Luke Cage and Daredevil figures quite a bit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this review. Let me know what you think of these figures. I want to know which one your favorite is out of these four. Out of the four of them, I gotta say my favorite one is the Jewel figure, even though she has a scuffed up face. Alright, I'm kind of giving it to Luke Cage though. Yeah, it's between the Luke Cage and the Jewel figure. So I'm curious to know. Leave a comment down below. And if you want to hit the subscribe button for more Sharpness Prime videos, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you know immediately when my next video is posted. Happy Thanksgiving to all you guys. I'm grateful for all you people for watching my videos and hitting the like button and hitting all the buttons I ask you guys to click on and all that stuff. But I gotta give an especially big Thank you to all these people that support this YouTube channel. Your guys' extra support really goes a long way in keeping this YouTube channel afloat. If you'd like to see a photo gallery of images, it'll all be over at MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me on the social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what the strangers say. That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.